Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed 3. Let's keep it going. Interact. To the homestead. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh fuck, now I gotta travel all the way there, don't I? Oh no! <laughs> no! Alright, I'll see you guys there. Alright, we're here now. There's a horse too, that would have been fucking useful when I was where I was. Well, go on then. Can I open that up that secret passageway? Just chilling, huh? Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good, but experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man full grown who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Works for me. What do you want, man? Help. You, sir, please help. He's going to die. Who? Yes! I need to know! Jesus. Oh, I love these. I just lo I love that sound. Down there! He's just passed under the bridge! Really? <coughs> Help me! Please! Someone! Help! I'm working on it! Shut up! <coughs> this is unbelievable! Jesus fucking Christ, dude. How did this happen? trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knob end. You. Because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. 
We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. I suppose that's that. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. Sure. Okay, that's nice. I doubt I'll need them, though. I'm just gonna move on to the next mission. Let's get it done. Is there, like, a horse here I can take or something? I don't fucking know. I'll catch you when I get there. What is going on? Go away. Say go away, boy. Do not speak the king's English. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. <laughs> She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, <laughs> meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. Damn it, old man. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can <laughs> refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it she is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber boy. And I'll raise a crew. Ah, shit. Why is he all the way up there? Oh! I will tell you right now, traveling is a step back from what it was in uh, Brotherhood and Revelations. Like, it takes way too long to get anywhere, and that annoys me. I get it's an open world game, but come on, man. There's a limit, you know? I'll take this for myself, thank you. Right, let's keep going.
There you are. I've something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. This shit was way too confusing. See all that? No. passed quickly after that my days a blur of study training and work what little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars about Charles Lee and my father I longed to confront them to put an end to their schemes to ensure my people would remain untroubled and free but I knew it was too soon that to approach them now would see me killed all my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them. Oh my God! No! Months. I thought that was water. Years. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to that damn ship. Alright, here we are. What's this business? What the... Well... Okay. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. Okay. She is solid. Aye, weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch 12 knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be. Okay. Sure. Let's go with that. Lad, no time like the present. What? What is this? Come on, come on, she won't bite. Oh yeah, this is that stuff I ignored when I first played this. Played this game. You're connected to her now. Listen and feel. She's idle. Half sail. 
I get the feeling there's gonna be a lot of that in AC4. Do you feel it, lad? Oh my god. This was the worst part of the game for me. And people actually like this, which is surprising. I hated this when I first played this game. The she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. How do I do that? We need more speed. Full sail. Go get that wind. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Full sail. Bend them all. Full sail. Come on. We're fine. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. I want everything. Oh, God. We're doing all right. Mind those other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. I guess people like this so much that they decided to make a full game about it when Assassin's Creed 4 came around. I don't know. That might be why AC4 was the way it was, because I don't think... They planned for Edward to be a pirate, originally. The people liked the sailing stuff so much, they were like, hmm. What if we build an entire Rogue game? Wind! No! Half off. Half we need more speed. Loosen to full sail. But that, I get the feeling that's what happened. Where's the pier? Over there. Cottages. We're close. All right. The amount of force probably required to pull those Hello, anchors Mr. up Mandy. is ridiculous. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> ah, good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. 
Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> Could you finally realize you're a shite sailor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Just roll up on somebody and ask where their leader is. Okay, take the helm again. Yeah, I just. I think. What it was is this shit just took way too long. It completely put me off of this. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but... Rest assured, there's ample room to add more, should you feel the need. Pull in the half sail! Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring her on broadside, in. and when all guns are on target, call fire. Oh! Well done, boy! Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Nice bed! Good! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Nice. <laughs> you are a fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, <laughs> getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Deploy the half sail. All right, we're good. Yeah, I think just getting places, they, they take way too long. It just puts me off of the ship combat, and that's why I didn't like... I liked three, but I didn't go out. Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace. Take your pick. What do we do? No tells but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the swivels on him, Cap! Ha, come! Ha! Ready when you are! Half sail, men! Take her down to half sail! Move! Transfire! Let's bring her in again. Get out of this headwind, Captain! Take him out, boys! Reload those ladies! English frigates! Oh no. Be big swattles, another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Brace! Come on! Looks like we're good. Oh boy. Oh, 
That's not what I meant to do, no! We did well. Not too bad, not too shabby. Are we good? I could do this all day. I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship. Could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> he weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. That's how long it's been, Sorry. really? Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. I think I'll probably have to grow into this. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Alrighty then. I am now a full fledged assassin. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Mm hmm. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Awesome. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. Sure. 
If only they knew. What's this? A remote operator. Not a fucking camera. fidget spinner. Provide really? us with the feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Really? Testing, one, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures, running diagnostics. Perfect, I've got a nice strong signal. Just a heads up, there's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old fashioned way. All right. Now this this is pretty cool, you know. I didn't know like I figured back when I had first, you know, played this game, I figured Desmond's sections were always like this in the games that I hadn't played, so I didn't know why people didn't like them. You know? I think the Desmond sections were definitely the best part of this game, but that's just me. I don't know, I, I really like the idea of a modern day Assassin's Creed. I know it's not for everybody, it'll probably trigger some of the, the purists out there, but I really think they should have put, you know, more modern day Desmond stuff in here. Or at least now that the series is where it is. Uh, I feel like we need a- oh, shit. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. What do I do? Oh, dude, I was finna jump off. I didn't know. There we go. Get up! There we go. That's the good stuff. You mean to tell me I could have just... Really? Oh boy, this does not seem like a good idea. Oh god. There's no way he could have known that that was right there. There's no way. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively uh, paced. Shut up, Sean. Yeah, I think they really need to bring this this whole modern day hook back into the newer games. Give us like a, a real protagonist. Who's important, you know? Fuck. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, high enough to make the jump should it'll be fine don't worry that's not very well, reassuring worry, a lift walk. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers Sean a joke it was a joke <laughs> or was it <laughs> <laughs> 
He's such an asshole. Get up the thing! Come on! Alright, here we go. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late, and you'll miss the building. Now, open your chute! Oh shit. <laughs> All right, looking good. man didn't say anything about fucking you up so you got to the cap oh i love how i just take off with it like so who the hell is daniel cross believe it or not he used to be an assassin the assassin the way i've heard it told but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Let me talk to, uh, what's-her-face here. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? Still alive. I doubt it. That I mean, she'd be at least 75, 80,000 years old. Well, powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. Maybe. Let's see what dear old dad has to say. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit. Why are my eyes pitch black? Oh no! <laughs> I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. 
I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. <laughs> Where's that boy Sean at? You're an asshole, ah, but hi. Nice. There you are. Can I ask a favor? No! Maybe. When this is all over, I'd like to try turning the dial back on the Animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when you visited Altair. And then again, that was about a thousand years ago, and I'm looking at going back at least 70,000 more. Sure, I'd be up for it. Be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. I think I know where that power source goes. That's why I couldn't access that computer before. Actually, let's check our emails first. They don't, they're not talking about much. Let's go put this power source in. And we'll be good to go. I think I have an idea where it goes. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right. Stop doing that. Goes right here, right? Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. interesting so with that i want to thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more share this video around share with your friends share with other youtubers guys i don't care do what you can do to help me out i will catch you in the next part later on